Good morning, grade 12. Um, we're moving on to the next section of perfect markets, and uh, we're going to talk about competition policies. But before I start, I want you to realize that um, we're in week four. We're almost going through to the last week of lockdown, we hope. Um, the president made another speech last night about uh, additional funding to provide relief for businesses and individuals. So make sure you know those few things. Uh, I'm pretty sure it will be tested in the final exam as an additional part of an essay or as an eight mark question. So increasing grants by a certain amount for a few months is also providing tax relief, so allowing businesses to delay their tax payments instead of paying them every month. Um, and we've increased the limits for which businesses will actually qualify for these reliefs. Um, I will send it on the WhatsApp group as well, the whole speech, so that you know. But um, yes, moving on to competition policies. So markets operate best under healthy competition. There needs to be a lot of competitors in order for each business to be um, producing their best and charging the lowest cost. So we definitely need an open economy and it's in our country's best interest to allow imports. Also important to note, South Africa is a founder member of the World Trade Organization. Remember the World Trade Organization is an independent international organization which um, facilitates free trade. Um, and the reason as well that small, medium and micro enterprises or SMME, um, SMMEs are provided such support from government is because it also increases competition. We cannot have a whole lot of large businesses and only a few of them providing us with certain goods and services, because otherwise they will start to abuse their power. So what is the aim of competition policy? Prevent the abuse of market power, regulate how much growth there is in the market power, and to prevent restrictive practices. So three main areas we look at is the Competition Act 96 of 1979, also that there's a competition board in South Africa and they were established to make sure that policies were implemented and followed. And also the ANC has an anti-monopoly policy. So they do not want monopolies to form. So if we look at the Competition Act 89 of 1998, this law that was passed made provision for the Competition Commission. So the Competition Commission tries to give South Africans equal opportunities to participate fairly in economic activities and this makes our economy efficient. We also have a competition tribunal who either accepts or rejects recommendations submitted by the Commission and any disputes are referred to by the Competition Appeal Court. So the law that was passed was the Competition Act 89 of 1998. And because of that law, the three institutions that exist are our Competition Commission, our Competition Tribunal, and our Competition Appeal Court. So you must know the role of each of these institutions, which I'm going to explain now. So what is the Competition Commission? Competition Commission tries to ensure that everyone is given a fair chance in the economy. So what they do is um, they will investigate any business that they suspect to be doing um, inefficient business services. So not providing the consumers with what they want, uh, charging prices that are too high, etc. Recently, in the last few years, DSTV was fined um, because they were investigated by the Competition Commission and they were found that they, the way they were charging prices was different. Um, and also what the Competition Commission will do is try and make sure that 
two large businesses do not uh, merge as one to try and make a monopoly in the um, economy. So that's the commission. They investigate and they make recommendations towards the, towards the uh, tribunal. So the tribunal then is like a court. It's got um, the same power as the high court. It's got jurisdiction throughout the Republic. So they can, they can rule on cases throughout South Africa. It's a tribunal of record and it is independent from other institutions. So it's not part of the commission. It's not part of the appeal court. It's completely standing alone. And the main functions are to grant exemptions, to authorize or prohibit large mergers. Mergers are when businesses join together and become one. To adjudicate if any misconduct takes place, to issue an order for the costs presented to it by the Competition Commission. So the tribunal makes the decisions um, on what punishment would be dealt to a company if they are found to be in um, contravening the Competitions Act. So if they are acting irresponsibly towards consumers or other businesses, the Commission investigates and the Competition Tribunal makes the decision about whether a punishment should or shouldn't be uh, instituted against that company. Then if we look at the Appeal Court, so the Competition Appeal Court is where people can go or businesses go to if they don't agree with the decision made by the Competition Tribunal. Uh, the status is similar to the High Court. Also, it's got jurisdiction throughout the Republic. It's a court of record, which means that proceedings are recording and they're available. And then the main function of the appeal court is to review orders made by the competition tribunal and make a decision whether the company is being unreasonable by disagreeing or whether they're not being unreasonable. So that's like a, a second chance. The businesses can go there, make sure that the decisions made by the Competition Tribunal were in fact fair, and obviously, um, you know, they issue the court order and the business has to obey to that. And that's all I have about competition. So what I would suggest to you to do today is... Um, <clears throat> So make your summaries on what we have discussed. Make sure you know how to draw the graphs and interpret them for perfect markets as well as recognize. And then tomorrow I'm going to be um, just quickly going through the essays that are applicable to perfect markets. Please remember that the essays for perfect markets also contain some of the information from imperfect markets. So. I'm kind of finishing off perfect markets as well as starting imperfect markets tomorrow. Enjoy your day, grade 12. Keep working hard. We're proud of you.